Jupiter has three moons with oceans underneath their icy shells. They're called Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. Earthlings have been curious about these moons and their potential to house life for a long time. NASA first sent probes in part to get a closer look in 1977. Jupiter is a gas giant. That means it doesn't have a surface. It's a swirl of gases that condense into a smoldering ocean of hydrogen at its core. It's very similar to our sun in this way, but unlike the sun, it doesn't fuse hydrogen atoms into helium to create energy and heat. Now back to those first NASA probes. They observed long lines and dark spots on the moon Europa. Typically, moons have cratered surfaces, but these images tipped scientists off that there might be an ocean beneath Europa's icy exterior. In 1996, that theory was confirmed when the Galileo spacecraft reached Europa. It was the first ocean discovered on another planet. Then in 2012 and 2016, the Hubble Space Telescope showed water plumes erupting from the warmest parts of Europa. Scientists don't know much about the plumes, but if Europa has water and elements like carbon and hydrogen, it could mean that microbial life once formed there, or even still exists. Armed with that possibility, the European Space Agency and NASA are sending probes deep into our solar system to look specifically at Jupiter's icy moons. First is the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, from the ESA. JUICE is traveling to the Jupiter system armed with the latest technology to take photos, observe the magnetic field of Jupiter, and take readings of what is beneath the icy crusts of Jupiter's large moons. Later, NASA will send the Europa Clipper to fly by its namesake over 40 times to sniff its atmosphere. It will gather material from the plumes for the first time, and that will give scientists a better idea if Europa's oceans could support life. The missions will gather data. They will also aim to gather insights into fundamental questions about our universe. Is there life beyond Earth? What might that look like? And what does that mean for the future of humanity? Thank you.